So how are San Diegans reacting to this morning's message from Ukraine's president? And for that, we're going to turn it over to CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us live at the House of Ukraine in Balboa Park. What are you hearing, Kelly? Well, yeah, and it was hard not to get emotional when you saw that video President Zelensky played of what the Ukrainian people are going through. Now, yesterday when we were out here, we met a woman who is from Ukraine. We spoke to her again today. Uh, she told us Zelensky's words are powerful. Here's what else she said. I believe we win. <laughs> yeah, we lose lots of people, but we fight for the freedom, you know. We're on the right side. And she was clearly emotional. In case you couldn't quite understand what she said through her tears, she said, I believe we will win. We will lose lots of people. Fight for freedom. You know we're on the right side. Now, she actually met Zelensky back in 2015 and took this photo with him. Uh, she still has family in Ukraine. She wants the United States uh, to do everything it can to help Ukraine and end the suffering. I spoke to another gentleman uh, who is also Ukrainian-American who says this isn't Putin versus Ukraine. This is Zelensky defending democracy for the entire world. Now, Zelensky received a standing ovation by members of Congress today, and that includes Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs. Take a listen. I was really struck when President Zelensky asked us to not only be leaders for the United States, but to be leaders for the world and leaders for peace. And to me, that's exactly the lens we need to be looking at as we are deciding what's the best course to do uh, on this crisis. Now, Congresswoman Jacobs says she stands with President Biden as she supports sending more military aid as well as humanitarian aid, uh, but she says she does not support enforcing a no-fly zone over Ukraine. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.